Hi, anybody or nobody. My name is Shistu A A, and today me and my sister are going head on head to see whose makeup routine is better. We are going to show you what products we use, and then you guys can vote down in the comments whose you think is better. Which is it's gonna be me. Um. So do you want to start first, or do you want me to? You can start first. It's your channel. Okay then. Okay, so now that I've got Cassandra out of the room so she won't see what um, products I'm putting on my face and what my routine is, so we can then go at the end who's is better. So the first thing I usually start out with is that I usually brush my hair if I haven't, I haven't brushed it in a while, so that's like one of the first things I would do. Okay, so now that I brushed out my hair, first thing I'll start with is a Clinique bottle of O1 ABBA Blaster. Here. I don't know if it's focusing in or not. Oh my. Yeah, I don't know if you could read it, but. I tried my best to pronounce it. Um, but yeah, this is my foundation, so I'll put that on my face first. I should also mention to you all, I don't do a ton of makeup. In most of my videos, I don't even like, put on makeup. I just feel like it's not needed. Um, next thing I would do is probably put on my powder, which um, this powder isn't like the exact one that matches with that, but I like this one better. Um, it's 04 Natural, Natural, Neutral. It's 04 Neutral. So I guess I'll put some of that on. So uh, I just did that, I don't know if you can see it at all. I'll try and do a close up at the end or something. Um, so then I, I probably move on to mascara. Then I probably move on to mascara. So we're gonna need this.
Okay, so I just finished that, and then I guess I'll end mine with a little bit of um, lipstick. Um, with a little bit of like lipstick, I guess. Color stick. It's like a mix of a lipstick and chapstick, so. But yeah, so this is my makeup routine. It's not like, um, there's not a ton of steps because I just feel like makeup isn't that needed, but oh, that's the end of my makeup routine. I don't have a ton. I know Cassandra's is probably going to be longer, um, but the reason is I don't feel like, I don't like a ton of makeup, wearing tons of makeup, but I'll wear makeup if we need to go to any place fancy or like formal, so I guess this ends my journey with you. Um, now I guess you're going to go see Cassandra's routine in a second now, but I'll share like a picture because I don't know if you can see it well. Alright guys, so the first thing I always do when I start my makeup routine is that I have to put my hair up because I don't like it when my hair is in my face when I do my makeup. So, okay, so once I have my hair up, I'm going to go onto my foundation. And right now, I just kind of have a little sample jar and it's from Clinique. It's the Even Better Foundation in Buff. Comes in a little jar like this. And um, I normally use this to cover up blemishes, but I'm just going to pop it on all my spots. I'm going to get close, but I'm going to grab my mirror, and I'm going to cover up these blemishes right here. foundation. Um, I said concealer because normally I kind of use my foundation as concealer. Um, so I'm going to go straight on to um, powder and I'm using the Clinique Almost Powder Makeup in Neutral Fair. Looks like this. And I just take a powder brush and just set where I put all of the product, where I put the foundation. That's what I'll do for powder. Um, now since this is an e everyday makeup tutorial, I kind of like skip all my cheek stuff because I don't normally wear cheek stuff to school and stuff. So I just take my little eyebrow pencil and I'm just brushing out my hairs. Now that I've brushed my brows out, I'm going to take a mirror and I'm just going to be using um, the dark brown in this, in this little duo right here. I'm using that color to fill in my brows. It looks super dark, but um, it's like not what I would call the most pigmented thing, and I really don't fill in my brows that dark either. So, we're just going to take a little bit and kind of work in it little by little. I'm just kind of going to sloppily apply it. It looks really dark because of the lighting, but I promise you it's not as dark as the lighting is making it out to be. It looks like I have like a sharpie on brow. I don't know, I don't know if it's just the camera, but I think it is. I'm going to take my um, brow wand again. I'm going to brush it through my brow just to kind of blend out the color so it doesn't look as like messy and it looks a little more natural, like it's my natural brow shade. Because I don't have a ton of like brow hair, I have very thin brow hairs, so like if I feel if I use a lot of product on my eyebrows, it's gonna look like I sharpie them in by a lot. So if I just kind of like if I use a little bit and I kind of messily apply it, then blend it out, it's gonna spread the color and it's gonna fade it because it's spreading all around my brow. 
brows are like by far the hardest part when it comes to makeup. I'm like most days if I'm in a hurry for school, I, I won't even fill in my eyebrows and normally I don't. But like if I'm going out to like see family, or, like going out to a restaurant, I'll normally fill fill in this little duo. So again, taking my little brow wand and I'm gonna brush it out and make the color blend out. And then what I do is I, I wipe the top and then I wipe the bottom. Wipe the bottom. Wipe. I wipe the bottom and the top and the front a little bit just to get rid of any harsh lines. Alright, so now what we're going to do is mascara. And I'm using the Great Lash Mascara by Maybelline. I think everyone's seen this mascara at some point. It's a pretty popular drugstore mascara. Um, but the first thing I'll do, I'll take this Clinique Lash Building Primer. So I'm going to take the white side and I'm just going to pop some of this on. Now, I've been wearing mascara and like makeup way longer than Katrina has. Um, so she doesn't really know how to do mascara that well. Um, so, that she's not going to be as good as mascara as I am. Um, I have really short lashes, so like putting on a white mascara will bring your lashes more volume and more length. So it kind of helps me out in the end. And then I wait for it to dry. So I kind of just fan off my lashes. And then I take my Great Lash Mascara. I'm going to do it in the mirror because I always mess up. But I'm going to take my mascara. I like to kind of wipe off the excess if that's on the tip. So, um, I have really short eyelashes, but, um, the white always does help with my eyelashes. I even look into the viewfinder, I'm not used to it, because I'm like trying to see how it looks. But you guys are here. Hi. Okay. I'm really awkward, I'm sorry. And I'm just going to do that on my left side. Now that it's kind of somewhat dry, because I fan it off pretty fast, I'm going to take my eyelash curler and I'm going to curl them. Let me, let me show you what I do. Okay. So I take my mirror. Normally I'm using my big like magnified mirror, but um, I curl it. Let me like try and get close. Right, you probably can't really see it, but I'm gripping it and I'm just pulling it. And it's going to give my eyelashes a lot more length. Um, as you can see, I curled it on this one, and these are what my lashes look uncurled. It's a slight difference. It's not like really major, but it's what I do. So I'm going to do the left side now. Alright, so I have my left lashes done now. And so now, um, the last thing I do is I take the black mascara in this. This is the Clinique High Impact Mascara. It looks like this. I got it at Ulta. <laughs> And um, this is a really good mascara. I used to top it off because like it's a really good mascara. So we're gonna put those on. Put this. Add one thin layer just to give my lashes a little more volume. And that is what I will do for my eyes. I don't wear eyeshadow to school because. I guess I just don't feel comfortable with it, along with like filling my brows. I guess the main reason I don't fill on my brows is because I don't, like, because I know people will notice, because I don't have a lot of brow hair, like I said before, so I feel like they'll definitely notice if I do. But like, when I go out to like events, and, like events, <laughs> when I hang out with my family and stuff, normally I use this like Clinique palette. It's really, um, it's really cute. The colors look like this. So if I were to do eyeshadow for this video, which I'm not because it's like an everyday tutorial, I would definitely use this palette. They are pretty colors. And they blend out really nice. Okay, what do I do next? Oh, blush. Okay. I am taking this Clinique. I have a lot of Clinique stuff. <laughs> like literally like half my makeup is from Clinique. But I'm taking this Clinique um, 
I'm taking this little Clinique palette and I'm taking a blush which is in the shade Sunset Glow. I'm taking this little blush color. I'm going to take my powder brush, brush again and I use this one for uh, blush as well. I use my powder for blush too. And I'm just going to apply it to my cheeks. This makes your cheeks look naturally rosy, which I guess is why I like it. Since it is like still kind of winter right now, um, normally in the spring I'll use this LA's Colors blush, but it's really, really pink. So I normally use it in the summer and springtime, and I use like more rosy blushes towards winter and fall. Um, that's about all I do for my cheeks. Um, I guess the last thing I'm going to do is are the lips. So normally I put like a EOS lip balm on. Oh, I just kind of peel it off. Okay, that's cool. Whatever. And, um, no. Here. Um, and then I use this Pure Color lipstick in Pinkberry Cream. Um, it's a really nice neutral color. Looks like this. Really pretty color, um, like one of those like everyday wear colors you can use it for. I don't wear lipstick to school, but like I said, like when I hang out with family, I use this. And you're not really gonna be able to tell, cause it like it's literally it's my, it's basically just my lips, just a little more nude neuter. A little more nude and a little like yeah <laughs> I'm so bad at this I'm definitely not like my sister she's very good at talking to cameras I surprisingly am not but I'm, I'm gonna take this Ulta super shiny gloss in the shade mischief and I'm gonna put that over top of it so this is my everyday makeup routine let me um, move the camera so you guys can get some better lights this is my everyday makeup routine. 